Hello there. This is an astrological forecast for Pisces for October of 2011. And this also applies if you have a Pisces ascendant. So my Pisceans, this month is going to be about your work, your health, your finances, studying, your career and relationships. We'll sneak in there at the very end. So let's start out with your work because we have got Mars in this sixth house all month. So this is a great month for you to put energy into your work area. If you've been looking for work, be more persistent, don't give up, take more action. If you're already in work, this is a time to be more assertive, more proactive in your workplace, to take more actions. So if you've been thinking about something a lot, you're not sure or whatever it is, take some action this month. This is not a month for sitting by and hoping things are gonna happen. It's also an important month to be proactive about your health. Anything concerning health and healing, anything medical, this is the month to put action into it. If you need to go on a diet, if you need to change what you eat, if you need to change your exercise program or whatever it is, this is the month to do it because the Mars energy is going to enable you to accomplish a lot more in a shorter space of time. We've got a lot happening for you this month in your eighth house, the eighth house of finance, and also of joint finances. It's going to be a time, uh, a very good time for negotiations connected with real estate, connected with investments. It's an important time to do some deep thinking connected with your finances and your money. So um, maybe if you have a mortgage, maybe you need to change the terms of it. Maybe you need to sell the property, even if you're going to sell it at a loss. Maybe you need to get out of a certain deal that you're in. Maybe you need to get out of a joint deal that you're in. Um, anything involving joint finances needs to be carefully looked at. The sun is shining a light in that house for the first three weeks of the month. So it's very important that you look at it carefully. We've also got the sun conjunct Saturn in that house around the middle of the month. So be careful that you're not taking on too much responsibility financially. Maybe for somebody else um, who's needing help, maybe you just can't help them. I know Pisces, you want to help everybody, but maybe you're just not going to be able to and you may have to be very clear about that. However, with Venus in that house, it looks like you're going to be able to resolve any issues that are there. Venus helps you, particularly for the first eight days of the month while it's in that house. It's also maybe a time for a deep soul connection meeting with somebody, a karmic meeting with somebody who you've known from many lifetimes or somebody who feels like you've known um, and you've just met them, but you, you have a deep soul connection with somebody. Second part of the month, we've got a lot going on in your ninth house. So this is going to be a great time for studying, for learning, for traveling, for exploring new horizons, for extending your skills, for anything connected with international travel, travel far and wide, and also any kind of international business that you might want to do, because this would be very well aspected with Venus, the Sun and Mercury in that house for the latter part of the month. Um, anything concerning international relations or anything connected with languages and communications, publishing, books, um, all very well aspected for you towards the end of the month. So if you're thinking about that trip or you're thinking of planning something, this is going to be a great time for it for you. Um, we've got the opposition of the Sun to Jupiter in your third to ninth houses for the last week of the month. So um, this could bring in some new friends, some new social people, people who um, are very interesting. They've got a lot of interests and you may find yourself learning something new again. Going to school to learn something new may just be a short course, but something that's very stimulating mentally for you um, and also may bring into your life a mentor, somebody who you find inspiring during this time. And you too could be an inspiration for others, of course. We also have a square, a, a trine from the Jupiter to the Pluto between your third and 11th houses. So this could bring a very deep friendship into your life, a deep soul connection. A lot of soul connections in this month uh, for you, Pisces. I think you're going to love that. Pisces loves anything connected with deep soul connections. And I think that is coming in, particularly with a friendship for you for this month. So there you have it. Focus on your work, focus on your health, 
and also on your financial situation and on higher learning and international relationships. I wish you a great month and I thank you very much for listening. Bye for now.